Hi, my name is Evan, and in this video I'm going to be talking about some of the features of the Finder application on your ProColor 3. Finder is the file browser on your panel, so this will help you store, open, and close files that you might be using in your instructions. And Finder contains files that are located on the internal storage of the panel itself, as well as external sources like a USB drive if you've plugged it into your panel, or cloud storage if you hook up one of your accounts like OneDrive or Google Drive. What Finder does not include are files that are on the PC module. So if you have the PC that is inserted right into the back of your display right here, those files on there will be accessed through the Windows Explorer on that PC input. But in terms of Finder, we open it up here. It's going to look fairly familiar if you've used file browsers like this before. You have folders here that contain documents, images, videos, anything you might have put on the panel. And if you want more information, a little preview, you can tap a file and it'll give you some information here off to the right. Double tapping the file will open it up all the way, and so if it's an image, for instance, you can see it nice and large on the display and go from there. Once you select a file, you'll notice down here at the bottom there are some typical options for file browser actions you might want to do. For instance, here there's copy, paste, cut, delete, and rename. So if you need to change your files around or move them to other locations, you can use those options there. There's also some other things here, different ways to change the view, whether you prefer a column view or a grid view. And then over here on the left, I want to point out that there's multiple storage locations. Here, the storage option, that refers to just the files that are on the panel display here. If you're trying to find something on an external source, you want to plug it in, and then you'll see that the USB drive option appears here. Anything on that USB will then appear on your Finder application as well. If you would like to add a cloud account as well, this is a great way to sync files between your laptop or other computer with this panel. So everything will be accessible here right as soon as you need it. You can simply select cloud drive here, and then we'll use the add buttons here to add a cloud drive. Once you log in with your credentials um, with either Microsoft or Google, your files will appear here. I want to point out one very important folder that you'll probably be using a lot if you tend to use the note application that's built into your panel. Here in the storage section, you'll see a folder called notes. If we go into notes by double clicking it, you'll see another folder called mark. The Mark folder is the destination for any files that you save from the Note application or any of the other annotation tools that are built into the ProColor. Alright, that will wrap up my video on the Finder application. If you need further help with other applications built into your ProColor, check out some of the other videos in this series.